Hi guys, I'm back again. It's me, Monsieur Parfum. Okay, and I'm here to do my first review, and it's from the House of Muglia, and it's a new release from 2017, Crypto Mint. Okay, let me just give you a brief description of the presentation, so to speak. It comes in this rubberized bottle, which I love because it's robust, and it's great for someone like myself that travels a lot, and this being my gym scent, it stays in my duffel bag, and I don't have to worry about this fragrance spilling over, or the cap goes flying off, which I had many experience with other fragrances. With that being said, it has a typical aim and star in there, and one new feature about Cryptomint, you could remove the, the top. And that's a really cool feature because now you could decant, which you'll need to do with this um, fragrance because the, the longevity isn't there. And what I hope, I hope Mugler continues this trend with all their fragrances in the Amen line. And what I want them to do also is, instead of buying, let's say, a new Cryptomint fragrance, they just sell you the bottle, so you, you just replace it and put it into the rubberized flask, which I think will be awesome. So, Muglier, if you're listening, please take notes. This perfume is also classified as an Oriental Fougère, but can also be classified as a Gourmand perfume. Notes are very simple in this one. We have the top note with peppermint. The peppermint here is not an herbal mint, so to speak, but more of an artificial mint, like you get in candy or some flavored mint ice cream, so to speak. In the mid, we have a geranium, which plays a key role in the fragrance with the handover takeover from top to bottom notes. Okay, in the base, we also have tonka and patchouli. And the tonka here is not the powdery, sweet, balmy tonka you usually get in fragrances, but it's really toned down. And also the, also the patchouli. And with the patchouli and mint, it gives off a minty, chocolatey accord. And there's no chocolate in this fragrance. Okay, in the opening, when I got this fragrance in, in the mail and I opened it up and I sprayed it on myself, I was like, wow. It was really invigorating, refreshing, and cooling. Blast of icy mint. And like I said before, with the patchouli and tonka mixed with that mint, you get sort of a minty, chocolatey accord from this fragrance. Okay, and many people will, will agree with this. All right, and the, the opening is just awesome. Unfortunately, that opening goes away real fast. It only lasts from 30 minutes to an hour then the mint is gone. The geranium takes over and try to act as a mint and therefore carrying that cooling theme, refreshing theme of this fragrance throughout the fragrance. And that pretty much remains. That minty chocolate card is pretty much gone also. And you're left with this cool, fresh scent with a little bit of patchouli, weak patchouli, and that basically is the dry down, which mm, it was a little bit, it, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't as excited as the opening was. And I, I thought this fragrance would have been a little bit more exciting because of that opening, okay? Okay, now it's time to move on to projection, sillage, and longevity. Projection is poor on Cryptomint. I get 30 minutes to an hour of arm's length, then it subsides to my skin. 
So yeah, projection is pretty poor. Siage, however, is really good. Um, for example, I'll walk into a room and I'll walk out. Someone will come into that room or office and say, Oh, I know such and such was here. Because <laughs> he's wearing that scent. So Siage in this one is very good. I did get feedback from wearing this fragrance, so I say Siage is very good, but projection is poor. Okay, longevity is average on this one. I get four to five hours. This is an eau de toilette concentration. However, it did last, say, days on clothing. So try spreading this one in your garments if you want it to last a little bit longer. Okay, who is Kryptonin for? I say Kryptonin is for someone who is not trying to take themselves too seriously. This is a fun fragrance, but yet very interesting. And it's coming from the house of New Glare, guys. All their fragrance have like this interesting theme on there. Kryptonin continues with that. Just remember, the original Amen had a superhero character that was inspired from the Silver Surfer. So I'm taking that Kryptonin is being inspired from Superman, who was born from the plan planet Krypton, <laughs> and and his he's allergic to Kryptonite. So I, I'm thinking it's a play on that. So. This is for someone who has a wild and vivid imagination and who's into comic books will be into this fragrance as well. Just a fun guy. This is a very casual fra fragrance and I think it's best for summer, spring, and it works well in the fall. The winter time, mm, it could work indoors in the winter, but this isn't it for, this is not the fragrance for winter. Okay, this is all for, so for someone who is not into your typical fresh aquatic citrus scents. You know, someone who wants a different take on a summer fragrance. And for gourmand lovers as well. You can't wear your gourmands in the summer, can you? Now you can with Crypto Mint. So there you go, a gourmand summer fragrance. Okay. This is also an androgynous scent that can be worn by men and women casually. My woman loves to wear this one as well. So yeah, works, works really well for both men and women in those scenarios. Okay guys, um, I guess I'll have to give Kryptomen a score and I say Kryptomen is a good fragrance. It's a good release from the house of Nuclear, and I will recommend that you try this one out. It's not for everyone, but I really do enjoy the scent. I've used almost half the bottle already, and I've just got this one since September, and it's been in my rotation three times a week, and I have quite a decent collection, so, so that is saying something. Right here and it's a great release and I'm glad that it has been released. Don't be put off by the name Cryptomint as I've dis discussed before. It's just um, Mugler's way of showing his affection for comics and that superhero theme thing going on. Okay, please tell me what you think of Cryptomint. Do you think it's a good release? Have you smelled it? And was my review accurate on this fragrance? Let me know in the comment below. And I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.